Hey everyone, it's Heath from Homes on Wheels and we are here at Timberline in Anniston, Alabama. We are going to take a tour of the Leahy. It's a 2,048 square feet, four bedroom, two bath mobile home, double wide. It's beautiful inside. Let's go in and take a look. If you guys are not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell icon. That way you get notified every time we release a new video. And here we are inside. The staff at Timberline did a really good job staging this. Absolutely beautiful. Love the flooring. Crown molding all the way around. The vents are in the ceiling. Can lighting. No, you guys asked for that. Ceiling fan and a fireplace. Absolutely beautiful. Three big windows there in the living room area to let a lot of light in, a lot of natural light. And we're gonna just kind of transition back this way and we're gonna cover the kitchen and the guest bedrooms. Then we'll get to the master bedroom. All right, so here in the kitchen, uh, you'll notice you've got your door and then you've got your big windows there to let more lighting in. And then you've got your island. We're gonna walk around that just real quick. Got enough room there for two stools. And I like the way it kind of resets or has a recess there, I guess I should say, uh, that you can kind of move them back in a little bit and get them out of the way. And you've got your bookshelves or your shelving there that you can put uh, whatever you want right there. Gives it more of that homely stick built feel. Really like that. And then you see the cabinets around the refrigerator. I like that white. That the white always is appealing to me because it's it's always really good and clean. Gives you that that fresh. I don't know. Just uh, I like seeing white, really white cabinets. We're just gonna take a look back around this side of the bar. One of the other things and I forgot to point this out. I like the way this is uh, how they have this to rise up off the island, so it's not. You know, you're not having to bend over when you eat. I really like that. All right, so we're not going to spend a lot of time here in the kitchen. I will point out that they have a really nice open uh, sink here, stainless steel, the industrial style faucets, and something that's really important to you guys is that the windows open, and both of those do. They have the latches on them. And we'll just take a quick peek in the cabinets here. Yeah, so good size cabinets and you got enough of them. You can store everything that you need to store there. Plenty of outlets so that you can connect up your blender or food processor, air fryer, whatnot. And there's your Frigidaire appliances in here. We're gonna take a look over here. Something that caught my eye earlier when I walked through this was the, uh, the pantry area. Really like that it's kind of, separated with this barn door that you can close, but it's like a walk-in closet. Without wasting a lot of space here, there's room for a lot of canned goods, a lot of storage here, back left and right. And again, it's a little walk-in type closet without being overly big. That way you don't waste a lot of space. So really like that. So we're gonna walk back and to our right here we're gonna cover all the guest bedrooms, the guest bath, the laundry area, and then we're gonna take a look at the master bedroom and the master bath. You wanna stick around for that because it's really nice. Uh, I really like that, that master bath they've got in there. We're gonna head into this first guest room here. <clears throat> and you'll notice uh, they have carpeting in here. Again, vents are in the ceiling. They continue with the crown molding through the guest rooms. We're just gonna take a quick peek inside the closet here, this corner closet. I like these corner closets, especially for a kid's room or even for an office because it gives you gives you that little extra floor space. If you got bigger stuff to store in there, I kinda of like that. All right, so let's go on back through and we'll take a quick peek inside the guest restroom really quick. 
And so you've got two doors in here. The first door goes in and then it goes to another door, which is your wet closet. And we're just gonna walk straight on back through there and give you a look at that first. And then we'll take a look at the sinks. And so you've got your storage for your towels and so forth there. There's your toilet, your window, that opens. And you've got your bathtub shower combo here, one piece. And again, they do have the crown molding and everything in here as well. And so we're just gonna look back out. And this one actually, this is one of the few guest bathrooms that you see with two sinks in it. I really like that. And you've got one to the left and then one again to the right matching on the opposite wall. Really like that. That's something you don't see a whole lot is two sinks in the guest or uh, non-master. So, all right, so we're gonna step back into the hall, then we're gonna go to this next bedroom. So this is our second guest bedroom. This one I think is a little bit bigger, actually. So this would probably be better. I, I kind of like that first one as an office. Uh, this would be an outstanding guest bedroom, more for kids. And it's got a walk-in closet. And they've got some storage stuff in here. But uh, again, you've got uh, that walk-in closet there. So it'd be perfect for a kid, especially a teenager. Maybe has a few more clothes. Uh, so we're gonna go back out come back into the hallway turn back around here we're gonna go check this last bedroom last guest bedroom before we go on through the rest of the tour and again another decent sized one here so two of these guest rooms are really big and have a walk-in closet attached to them so be perfect so she have two older kids and maybe one smaller or two older kids and want to put an office in the other one, be perfect for that. All right, so coming back down the hall, the room that we skipped was the laundry room. Your back door's here. You got a really big space for washer and dryer here or washer and small freezer next to it. Uh, that's a lot of space right there. And then you've got a place over on the other side for the dryer with a cabinet in the middle. A lot of space, I'm sure, there for your dishwashing liquid or your dishwashing liquid for your clothes washing uh, detergent there. And you've got a rod that you can hang your clothes on. More cabinets. And now this one's got a little, I've never seen this before. It's got a little desk in here. So a little getaway right there and you can put whatever you want there while you're doing your laundry you can sit down and read right there be perfect for that all right so we're going to go back out now let's head back down and we're going to go take a look at the master bedroom and the master baths what all you've been waiting on i think you're going to really like that Of course, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but we've got the fireplace there in the living room. It's really nice. And we're going into the master bedroom. Again, good size. You've got two windows in here. And then we're gonna turn back and look inside the restroom, the, the master bath. All right, we're gonna scan back right and left. Looks very clean, white. Again, they continue with that kind of that really clean white look. And I love, you guys know that watch our videos, I love the glass. All right, so we're gonna take a look in here. And there is a great place for you ladies to put your makeup on. Absolutely perfect. Gonna scan around a little more. Massive tub there. Let's go take a look at that. That thing is huge. 
and you've got your shelving you want to put your candles or or just whatever right there you've got that option above it you've got two windows and they both open now we're going to scan back over really quick take a look inside the shower you got the step up going into the shower and you've got your rain head faucet overhead now filling in here this is actually feels like tile um, had to ask those ladies here at Timberline, but I think that may be tile. It feels like it. And you got your can lighting overhead. Continuing with your crown molding. Now let's go take a look inside the master closet. And then we'll get back to the other thing everybody wants to know. How much is it? We're going to talk about that here in just a few minutes. And here is the master closet, and they do have a window up here for natural lighting. And the last thing that we didn't cover, everybody's wondering where is the toilet? It's in here in the wet closet, right here by the door going into the master bedroom. There you go. Now the magic question, how much is it guys? All right, so these prices are subject to change and they do, they can change, you know, from time to time. So at the time of filming, depending on your options, this home ranges between the 150s and 160s. Again, it's the time of filming. So contact the uh, people here at Timberline here in Anniston, Alabama, and they can tell you more about it, talk to you about financing, all of that kind of stuff, those kind of questions you have, they can help you with it. We are going to take another home tour though. Join us by clicking in the upper right hand corner and going with us to see the home that we have next.